Hello and welcome to a very miserable day outside, but a fantastic day for Lumi Bashers because we're working on the wagon again. rack on and I've mounted the actual draw system I haven't I haven't put them back together yet but I've mounted that so that's nice and sturdy so uh, I'm gonna continue working on this beast today and hopefully get a bit further than this one. second-hand aftermarket stuff is that they're always missing things such as the draw stops so I've got to try and figure out well, I've got to try and make my own ones out of a long bolt and a few washers which is going to mount here which is which misses the draw by about a mil maybe a mil and a half and then I've got to try and build a stopper out of this on the draw so it actually hits that and stops it from coming out which would be so much sicker if I had the actual ones because then I wouldn't have to figure out how to put it in. I had to ditch the the large or large big flat washers that I had um, because when I bolted that up the draw didn't want to go in because it was actually wider than the roller so I had to ditch that for some how you would say crap Looking, uh, just went for the old three, three nylock nuts, and um, it's pretty sturdy. This one doesn't really want to come out once it's, once it's at full extension, so in my book, that's it. One draw successfully installed, uh, draw stops and all. I went to a more factory-ish uh, way of doing it where there's holes at the back of the drawers for, I think that's where the factory stops go to be honest. Um, uh, so I bolted some of these plates, some of these spacer plates uh, to the sides of the rollers, uh, to the sides of the you want to call these slides uh, on top where the, the factory ones go and they just hit on the roller the last roller in there so that locks into place and then when it comes out it's as far as she wants to go six foot three. Good fun. Helps in, in these situations being really tall. Fitting into all these tight spaces. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah Yay for stoppage. <laughs> should have done when I took them out, but I didn't, which was dumb. <laughs>
again because it stopped raining, but it's still pretty cold. Standard Melbourne weather, jacket on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off, jacket on. Uh, drawers are in. And they stop. Drawer stops. And the fridge slot works as well. She's now, drawers are done, ticked off. So now, moving on to the roof rack. Um, it's sat in place, it's not bolted down yet, and I've still got to figure out the rear brackets. That's the basics of the bracket. I've got to figure out sort of heights, where to drill the hole and chop off the rest, but that's the basic bracket. Um, standard factory, Mounting point is, I think it would be this little hole here, and someone's drilled a big hole for a bigger one. I don't know why, um, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to go wider. In order to fit them there, you have to mess around with the hinges and stuff. And this tailgate actually, the fitment's actually pretty good, so I don't really want to mess with that. So I'm going to mount them about yay seeing as how that fits with the door, with the tailgate, it's pretty tight, but I might put an extra couple of bends in it or something. But um, yeah, and I'll mount them there, or thereabouts, somewhere close to that, and get them to sit flat. And um, should be pretty good like that. And then I'll have my six mounting, I'll have my six points of contact, two on each side and two on the back she'll be nice and sturdy and we'll be able to support my rooftop tent with my ass There's in it. Much trial and error of fitment and rehammering brackets and stuff. Uh, these four are on. So uh, drill some holes either end and chop off that little excess <laughs> and the drawers finished. Roof rack's on, nice and sturdy, not going anywhere. Drawers are in, same deal, nice and sturdy, they're not going anywhere. Um, next, I'm gonna rip the tow bar off as I'm upgrading to the Heyman Reese 2300 kilo one, which We'll be replacing that 1600 kilo and reach one. So I'll rip that off uh, after I have some food because I'm starving. Um, look at the look at the fitment there, and that is the same, exactly the same all around. That's what I'm liking. Um, and. As for off-road stuff, that's probably about it for today, I'd say. So stay tuned for the next webisode.